Well, now that we know a bit more about some of the competitors taking part today, it's time to get on with the racing. Race one, we'll see Group D versus Group A. I'll pass you straight over to your commentary team, Ian Soman, and a probably rather out of breath Jack Nichols. Time for the first of four races today then in the MX5 part Mazda MX5 Championship with Paul Sherd lining up on pole position and alongside him the man who finished second last year, Tom Roach. Brian Chandler well up on the grid, he is in third position but problems there at the back for Tetsuya Nakajima, the Japanese driver heading back to pit lane after his bonnet flew open on the warm-up lap. So that leaves 43 cars on the grid then for this first race of the season. The drivers ready and raring to go, including number 23, Martin Tolley from row 12 of the grid as the race gets underway. And already he's making a move on Dan Brigham there, a new driver to the championship this year in the number 56 car. But the best start has been made by Wayne Lamonte from the outside of row two. Well, the inside in fact, but fourth on the grid. It looked like he might have been leading. There's Daniel Turbard, number 15 in that new orange car for this year. But it's side by side for the leader of the race as they head down towards Beckett's for the first time. And it looks like it is Tom Roach from the inside of the front row of the grid, but second position that's got the lead away from Wayne Lamonte. Yeah, great start from uh, Lamonte, the man from Canuck, as they wind their way out towards Chapel for the first time. Third place then is Paul Sheard. Then it's Brian Chandler in uh, fourth position with Andrew Wright, I think, up into fifth as the rest of the field stream their way through. We go on board with uh, Laurie Grant in the number 19 machine that I think was used last year by Chris Dawkins. He runs a little bit onto the grass as they all fan out down the hangar straight down towards Stowe Corner. Looks uh, fairly line astern in the top 10 though as they make their way towards Stowe. Yes, Laurie Grant started in 16th. There we can see Nick Gilfillan, another new colour scheme for this year. He's in that light blue car. There is Laurie Grant though in number 19 taking the wide line around Stowe Corner and we go back on board with him now as they head down towards the Vale with the Silverstone wing in view on the right hand side of shot there. The new pit lane facility for the Grand Prix circuit here at Silverstone. Back on board with Martin Tolly now as they go into the left-hander at the Veil and then now this new double apex right-hander at Club Corner. He's right up behind Dan Turbard and he's going to have a little look to the inside and going to try and take Jade Edwards to here as he tried. Oh, he's just hit the anti-cut there and Martin Tolly is sent spinning. Doesn't get collected by anyone, which is good news. Gets back on his way, but uh, those anti-cuts there to stop people taking too much curb have really hurt him. Absolutely, so heading down towards the new complex they go. They didn't use this part of the circuit last year, of course, when the Mazda MX-5 Championship raced at Silverstone. They're heading now through Village Corner and then towards the left-hander at the loop. This is sort of behind where Beckett's is on the uh, original Grand Prix circuit. Then they'll head up towards the left-hander at Aintree Corner that brings them back onto the Wellington Strait. And there we can see among the field the number 40 car there of Mark Speller, a man who was winning a, a Lotus Cup UK race last weekend. Well, there's quite a number of Lotus drivers actually have moved to Mazdas for this year. Also out there is uh, uh, Dave Carr and a couple of others. But here come the leaders then into Brooklands and moving up a position. There is dangerous Brian Chandler. That's his nickname. I'm not just being slanderous as he makes his way into Luffield Corner. So that's up into fourth position, I think, because Tom Roach has pulled out a bit of a gap at the front. You'll see him come through there in his XO consultant's car. And uh, then it's this good battle here, really, with Simon Goddard and Andy Coombs involved. Now here comes uh, John Kinghorn. He's right up behind, I think that's Nick Harrison in the number 98 machine as they make their way down towards Cops then to start this second lap. A very long lap here. Uh, lap times in the region of about 2 minute 45 seconds as Coombs has to fend off Goddard. Tetsuya Nakajima, by the way, did get a start from the pit lane in the end after those problems on the green flag lap, and already he's making good progress through the field, but already out of camera shot has gone our race leader, Tom Roach. You can see there Brian Chandler doing battle with Andrew Wright, and then you've got Andy Coombs in the ex-Rob Boston car next to those familiar colours, the yellow with the uh, black front end on the car, just in the rear of shot, and that distinctive burgundy car of Brian Chandler, who's really moved a long way up the grid this season. Yeah, he's battling with Paul Sheard, who's out there in a white machine. I think that's his third car colour in, in a year now, isn't it? Because he started off in the machine that Dan Brigham is in, then he moved to a blue car towards the end of last season, and now he is the second white car in shot, hunting down Wayne Lamonte's car with the Union flag on the bonnet. Paul Sheard, who had a very successful... Uh, 2010 in the Mazda MX-5 Championship. He's tucked right up behind Lamonte as they drop down the hill towards the Veil. Vale. And uh, Lamonte going a little bit defensive, but Sheard not close enough this time to make a manoeuvre. And then it's a fairly comfortable fourth place for that man, Brian Chandler. 
So rounding club corner once more they go, R using a little bit too much of the uh, runoff area, maybe on the outside of the circuit as Brian Chandler as they go back onto the straight, down towards Abbey, now a right-hander of course, and there's Martin Tolly with his much autographed racing helmet. He is going to look to make up a position here against uh, one of the rookie drivers. Oh, and there's a spinner up ahead. Who was that? It's one of the uh, Mazda Speed cars, I think, isn't it? And uh, Tolly has to go off uh, in avoidance there. Well, he's having an eventful race, isn't he, Martin? Tolly after that spin at club earlier on. But here's this continuing battle for second position then. Sheard tucked right up behind as they come through the left-hander at the loop. It looks as though Sheard perhaps taking a little more speed, but these cars can slipstream each other quite nicely. So as they head out down the Wellington Strait, we'll Sheard see if Sheard can close in, although he's lost a couple of car links, actually, from where he was. Uh, on the exit of Aintree, heading down then into Brooklyn's corner where the new arena circuit joins the old Grand Prix circuit. You can see the lead that Tom Roach is pulling out, very impressive from last year's championship runner-up. But uh, these two still glued together and Sheard not able to get past yet. And you'd rather fancy that he might be able to because he had five wins in the Mazda MX-5 Championship last year, of course, and he won all eight races in the Mazda MX-5 Cup, did Paul Sheard, so he's clearly a very accomplished driver, indeed, of Mazda's, having raced all kinds of different categories down the years. So, Roach went back towards us here at Cops Corner, and then this gap back to second-place man Wayne Lamonte, which is now up around three seconds, I think, as they complete another lap. Sheard there only just tucked in behind Lamonte, fourth-place man is uh, Brian Chandler and using a bit too much of the runoff area again that time at Cops Corner. Yeah, the clerk of the course and the race officials are going to be very sharp on that if they seem to be going over the boundaries of the circuit too often. And uh, Paul Sheard kicking up a bit of dust on the inside of the Beckett's and Maggots complex as he tries his best, but it's fairly equidistant now between that, uh, that group of drivers. But then, oh, we've got a right old scrap going on here. That's John Kinghorn in the uh, sort of blue and orange machine, making his way out towards Chapel, getting very sideways. Nick Harrison is in a tough battle with Nick Gilfillan now as they make their way down the hangar straight. Gilfillan tucks, uh, well, he manages to pull out now side by side. He's going to be on the outside for Stowe and I think Nick Harrison is just going to hold it but there's about four abreast behind so great racing right the way down throughout the order. Yeah, Harrison qualified in 12th position, Gilfillan 